Excellent. Uh, good win there. Ah, it was a good win, yeah. Carry on from the last couple of games that we had. Yeah, the boys are playing well at the minute. First half, uh, things were a bit wobbly there for you. Yeah, it's, it's, you just can't come to Castle Blaney and expect everything to go well. You yeah. know, it just takes a wee bit of time to settle in. You must be extremely pleased with the second half recovery. Uh, yeah, the boys, this, this team can play a bit of football and they're all young and sometimes big teams can overshadow them and they get a wee bit nervous. Mm. Impressed with your midfield in the second half. Uh, began to get the power up to get the, the ball forward. Two, two good young footballers who like to play football, like to go, like to follow the ball, you know. Mm. And uh, what's your priorities now for the for the uh, for your the, your league campaign at the moment? Priorities training session next week. That's the only priority we have. Okay. And your ambitions now for this this team, this, only this young one team. ambition, and everybody in the county knows that our yeah. ambition is to stay in senior football. That's okay. our only ambition. Where do you see the strengths of this team? For you. Well, a lot of these, a lot of these boys would have played senior football two years ago when they were 18, 19 mm. years of age. So and coming through, coming through. Yeah. Happy with the way things are going for you at the Harps. Players coming through from the underage ranks. Uh, yeah, that uh, underage coaching and and uh, input in the club is very, very good and has been for a mm. long number of years. You know. mm. And tell me, from your, your point of view, Declan, what uh, what draws you to this role as, as management? What's the attraction of it for you? I would have coached a lot of these boys at 15 years of age, mm. and I suppose if I was going to take the job now, I may as well take it. When these boys are at this, a lot of those boys now that I coach at 15 are the nucleus of this team. So, if you're going to do it, I may as well. I may as well do it. And what are the challenges do you see for you at, the, at senior level and at this team? Uh, the challenges that we have at senior level would be believing that we're good enough to be in senior football. Mm. It's okay, me believing in it, but. Eventually, the boys come around to believe that you know, they're good enough to be in. And you have a core, good core group there now. You have, you have county experience in there as well. We have county experience. We have, we have a few boys to come back as well, you mm. know, who haven't. So well, they would have played senior football two, two years ago, mm. like, but they're 21 years of age. Mm. So. But two or three of them to come back. So things are looking, things are looking okay for, mm. for what we want to achieve, which is senior mm. football next year. Move very well, very impressed with the move in the second half, passing and, and, and delivery, picked with the finish. Our coaches, Gareth, has been working really hard over this last 18 months on, on that, you know. Mm. They were in a happy position where we're working with young fellas that listen. Mm. Which is, and a good enthusiasm in there. Very, 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 very good.